What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of This Old Deer Camp. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? It's uh, November the 10th, I think. So it's uh, fourth week in the gun season. It's supposed to rain this weekend and we need to rain, although we don't want to waller in it, but hopefully it'll have a little uh, in-betweens where we can hunt a little bit. But I've made it down here, JD made it down here yesterday and Preston and Jared's eventually coming. So I'm gonna go put out a little corn, uh, make up a bed, uh, get stuff unloaded and uh, just get ready for the weekend. So y'all follow along. It ought to be real fun just like normal. That's the good thing about having two generators, right? We can have a backup, so now I'm glad you... You know, I changed oil in that last week, and it's full of gas, so yeah, I'm glad it worked out for you, man. How'd you do last night? Everything went all right? Yeah, it was good. Good. Yeah, that, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm, I'm guessing a spark plug or something. Go put out corn and then uh, make his bed up just kind of get situated. He, he'll probably be down here about 2 2 15 ish or something like that. So I got a couple pictures last night. I got wood foot last night. That was you, got, you got good footage of him this morning, huh? Yeah, I got probably about a minute and a half worth. Is he up? How close was he, you think? Uh, he walked all the way up. 15 yards to my left, walking to Grab the on this bar, JD. I'm gonna steer it. Oh, it's locked, I guess. Did you? Is it locked or what? No, you didn't do it, did you? Okay. Uh, cool. Went to one about 655 down to my left in that bottom. Right. And then, uh, then an eight corner about 75 yards past the feeder, but I couldn't really tell nothing about him. You need a distinct rack at least? Yeah, distinct rack eight, but I couldn't really. He looked kind of small, but I couldn't really tell. And then uh, spike it 755, and then that eight, eight pointer with the white dot on his uh, forehead or whatever at 825, and then that was it in the morning for me. I told Preston, I said, I'm getting them on the camera. Uh, it's not a lot of action. It's just one here, one there, that in the same bucks. But mm -hmm. my thoughts are, you know, you put the corn out, I mean, you got a chance. The does, you get the does in there. I mean, it's still peak time. So, I mean, all you hope for is to drag them out of the pine, same as you. Right. I wanted up getting that cover for my truck yesterday, that white, my white truck. Um, Look at it. Yeah, I had to because, heck, I leave next Wednesday, so I can't yeah. take a chance. It's a... Uh, it's yeah, called a back flip. It's a back flip. It folds three times. One, two, three. That's right. And they don't have a lock or nothing. But when your tailgate's shutting, it's locked. It keeps them out. But obviously, anybody that wants to get in there and rip it open with a crowbar, but it keeps the honest man honest, you know. So you still, you still should have gas in your four wheeler because I filled them up. Yeah, I think it's so cool. Down about halfway. Do you want to uh, 
What you what you need to do anything? Or are you good to go? Or how many bags do you put out? Yeah, I didn't put out nothing yet. Put out oh, so you got to go do yours then. Yeah. You gonna do it on your stand now or your daddy's? Uh, I'm gonna do both probably. You got you had two bags in there. Did you get any more? Mm -mm. Oh, just one a piece then. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and pepper this row bed up with two <laughs> and go for it. I mean, if you think about it, no kidding. We're going out. Y'all going to Kentucky? We're going to Illinois. I'm going to Illinois. So if you want to be honest, by the time we get back, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. This is it, really, right here. The last little shot at it. Then Thanksgiving. One good thing I will tell you, and this is my opinion. Even though the rut's done, uh, when we come back Thanksgiving, the deer are gonna be hungry and they're gonna be easier to concentrate. So when you put out the corn, then I guarantee you, you're gonna be able to. You know how right now they're kind of walking by it or nipping an acre and don't yeah. really care about it. Well, they will be hungry when we get back and we put it out. They'll come in there, and then you might have a late buck coming. Or you might be broke up or whatever, but you still. I think it actually is going to be better because right now, I mean, like all last week, I mean, they. I watched deer literally in that bottom walk right by the corn to go eat acorns, the mm -hmm. white oak acorns. So, but anyway. There I am right there. I gotta get a frame for that.
I ain't had this out all year, so this is gonna be the secret weapon. It's gonna be either that or bust. As you can see, I'm hunting with a Browning Bar 308 this weekend. And Preston's hunting with a 35 Marlin. I've been hunting with a 350 Legend, but I got an Illinois trip coming up this coming Wednesday. So I just seem to leave it at home where I don't risk bumping it or anything, and I'll take this gun out. I don't plan on shooting it anyway. So Preston sees a big buck. We're going to video him and and have him shoot a big bug. But if not, we're not doing nothing. So we'll see, time will tell. Brother? Mm -hmm. I hear you. How are you, buddy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
I thought it was going to hold off at least yeah. tomorrow. I think, I think it's going to be okay, man. It's going to dampen the roads, and I think it might make them do something. I don't mind sitting on this with a tree cover. We'll bat it down a little bit. I ain't looked at the hourly lately. Have you seen if it's going to quit at 3 or 4 like, it, like they said? I ain't looked recently. but I yeah, think it's going to quit at 3 or 4, three and then we'll four. be good. What time does it get dark now, though, since the time change? What, what, 6 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right at 6. I mean, you won't, I, mean I ain't going to be shooting at no 6, 5, 30, 5, 40. I'm showing all the way till 7 now. <gasps> if you see this 200 incher, you'll be like. Was it, was it the day after you shot? No, this was Saturday night. Let's see. Is this him? Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed by your phone hat. Picks it up. Uh, Hold on. Let me get it back to normal. <laughs> Fix that, guys. There we go. All right, y'all ready? Hold on. That was one, but you ain't seen the 200 incher yet. All right. So, so my dad kept looking at me. Try to take it easy on me. My dad kept looking at me. He's like, I forgot my tank, so I was going to put some put some out. I was like, all right, that's fine. We'll put it out in the morning. About two, three, four minutes later, he holds his hand up like this here. He's like, with a bag of tinks. I got my tinks. I got it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then all of a sudden he does this number. He looks forward, he's like. <laughs> and there's, there's that same buck JD saw standing there just looking at him. Because he, he smelled, <laughs> smelled the tinks in your daddy's hand. He's like, hey, I'm gonna climb the he, tree. He, he, was, he was watching my dad the whole time just doing this. We saw six deer the whole evening. Every time I turned around, Preston was bobbing his head around and I was too and they were running off. Well, there was one. I tried my luck. There's a little spike behind us. Spike and, behind us, that is a six inch I, I, spike. I saw it like this and I was like, he wasn't satisfied, so he's I like, like I, no, I did this. I said, the heck with it. I, 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 did, I did this number. I was like, it, yeah. goes, it goes blow clickety, it off. He just clickety like, cocked out of there. And then another time, there was two does behind us, and me and I was sitting there, and then I heard, I, I was in, I mean, the, I, was I was looking like down, this. and I heard this. Hey. No, no, <laughs> no. Hey, he, he's telling the story wrong. There was two times I was like, I was like, Nothing. He even was like kind of looking at me angled this way. I was like, I was looking in my lap. And then he was like, Hey! He was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like this. Hey! To get him to look. And, and then, then I turned. Well, in my, I told my dad, in my he defense. He said, There's a doe. And I was in, like, in, No, in my defense, it was about 30 yards away. So I was like, All right, I can, I can give it a little bit. Hey! And then right, right as I did, right as I did that, there's one at the stupid road bed. It's like, Anyway, the moral of the story on the whole hunt was every time we turned around, we got busted every time. And then another time, we both looked at each other, and there's like one 20 feet over there, and it just went. I was like, unbelievable. That's when we were both on our phones. We were just looking through the coast, trying to find it. Can you slice me too? Them knives, we need to sharpen them, but open me up to you. Are you talking about wedges like that? Or yeah, that'd be good. Like one more and one more. Three more pieces out there. Need to uh, open the. Uh, uh, ground beef too, and we'll make patties. Uh, that's the one that probably busted you. Perfect. Well, the other one had to bust me too. That tore off. That's okay. And then this patty here, we're going to make three patties out of that. Right in the smoke. Man. We'll move. Bad condition. Bad condition. Hey, Jared, is that talking? Don't you understand this evening? You went hunting, I didn't think you were hunting. No. I didn't. You ready? Here it is. Whoops. <laughs> hey, did you get the generator? What was it burning? I mean, all I could do was change the oil. I couldn't get the spark plug out. That still wasn't the right size. I don't know what spark plug's in it. That's oh, he, you bought the wrong size? No, the socket wouldn't work to get it out. Well, do you think the same size is in it that you bought? I don't think so. That spark plug, just by the way, looks horrendously big. But That's the one they did it off the numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything was by the numbers. So what's it going to take to get your plug out then? I don't know. When I get home, I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to try to... I mean, I got a big set. Okay. Okay. We can go work in the woods. No, y'all... I mean, use it. Not, tonight's the only night. Tomorrow night's a wash, guys. It's a 100% chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, we will do it to it. You can put them thick pieces in the middle and we'll sear them and turn them, but they're thick. They'll take some good home cooking baby I'm, gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna turn them on their sides yeah you turn them like four different ways whatever when it's all said and done some of these are still a little bit frozen i'm gonna salt mine up with some redmond's ancient sea salt yeah, whatever you want to put on them you want garlic, salt garlic salt's fine 
Yeah, we'll put whatever else jack is on, on there. I don't like I like doing both sides of mine. You gonna hit it with garlic salt? And then we'll hit the other two and flip them over and then do it again. Easy with that stuff. There you go. All right, do them other two. So you saw the rain, you're saying by what, uh, two or three o'clock it's setting in or what? Uh, I don't think it's going to do more than a quarter of an inch. I don't think it's going to be no monsoon or nothing. It's going to be more than you think. Well, I, what I saw, it said a quarter unless it changed. Uh, our roommate? I like cores. Cores is good. I bring a core. Chris, you want to, you can like stick that thing between that tree and break it right there and try it at least. I was drinking a cores of ankle. That's how I'm playing cores. Do you know those little stubby bottles, Randy? The what? The little stubby bottles? The cores of Yeah. That's our little tree breaker. You stick it between them two trees and you break it right in half, no problem. He made all the leaves rain down. I'm coming. for this? Preston, you wear boots like me and JD or no? Yeah, I do. Okay. They're comfortable, ain't they? They are. I like them. I, I, love, don't... I love a slip-on. I used to do lace-ups for years. Here we are Saturday morning and it's raining. We got the boys right here. <laughs> They're really tearing it up over here. Both of them are. We just made a trip to Chick-fil-A and got us a biscuit. And uh, everything's sopping wet. So I guess they're going to be sitting here tailgating all day long waiting for the Georgia game. He killed a hog. <laughs> no, it's, uh, he's got to leave by 8.30, headed to Savannah. He's got to be there at a certain time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, yeah you don't have no time. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I didn't know it until he told me a while ago. Been a wet one today, but Presto got this thing going using his natural skills of being a woodsman. <laughs> it's a... Uh, we're completely out of wood, so this is what it is. We're, we didn't have a whole lot of wood to start with, but it was punky and dry, and we burned it up. So this is what it is. We're fixing to listen to the Georgia game, which reminds me, is it's getting close to 7, or are we going to turn the game on, or what? It's like only like 6 o'clock, 6 7. I hear you. burn that sleeve. <laughs> Amazing these kids listen to music that was older than me and you. Well, that's 
about the only quality <clears> there is, really. You should have seen the season one more time. How do you get a leaf in here? I don't know, I cleaned the table all the way. Are you ready to get? You're letting them really go, ain't you? All right, then. Jared's the only one that likes them raw or me, but us three like them crunchy. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I like them. He got it going good, buddy. I've been over there fooling with raw hamburger meat and everything. Clean it up around the edges. Yeah. At least, look how fast the ground soaked the, the rain up, though, as much as it did it. It soaked it, was, it up pretty quick, didn't it? It was dry um, before that. Well, we're about, what, half an hour away from the game. We're going to see what the dogs do. Where'd you, you're lucky enough to even find these bigger pieces. We're out of wood completely, ain't we? Yeah, I found them over there by the oak tree. Yeah, we cut some up. That's where I got all that original stuff from, Preston. We got the first batch coming right here. There's the hog killer right there, JD. We think he shot two, but He's the shooter, and so he feels like he shot one. We got it on video. You'll watch the video when we post it. And then he shot another one as he's looking for that one. So it's hard to say, but we think he shot two different ones. But you know how it is. Wet and rainy. They didn't leave no blood. We found one. Another one could have ran in another direction. Would have, could have, should have, right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. We don't like hogs anyway. So we thinned them out. Or he, I should say, he thinned them out. So anyway, there you go with that. Yes. <laughs> move all whatever you got to do out of your way or flip them don't let them burn i like them good and seared and then as long as they're juicy fine that's fine you can do whatever you want Make sure they don't get burnt. i hear you once they get seared you can move them around and do whatever you got to do you can move that corn back over to the left if you're going to leave all the meat down there Y'all welcome to the corn, too. I don't know if you like corn or not, but yeah. I love corn. Well, it's sweet corn. We'll break it in pieces, and everybody or everybody can have a full ear, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know what it just ain't. It ain't our time. But you know what? It is what it is. I mean, we wouldn't be happy unless we killed a big one anyway, you know? Yeah. 